o'clock, Bucky showed his promise. Commandeering a fishtailed El Dorado Cadillac, Taylor made to deliver us right on into the cradle of the great Bop night. So off we went with our high beams on, digging the Eldo speakers systems gone sounds. From everything from King Curtis's soul twist to Charlie Parker's Billy's Bounce. While cruising past TCU, the Art Bar Club, and Hilo's used furniture palace. We hung a left on Evans Avenue, and there it was. The Fula unfurled in all of its funky fied across the tracks, red dress, shimming, glory. Blocks up, Bucky peeped that the Elks Club parking lot was packed. So we eased on in and I gave it a go, sliding past the front door, ripping on into the showroom, where a banner on the wall proclaimed Twilight Temple of the Gods 109. While Big J with Saxon Hand was walking and wailing through the room. Well, that gassed me up. Take it, Fred. and we went back in and scored a table. After a couple tunes, Herb, the cool gent, stopped by and remembered Bucky from the early 70s, where they were both raising sand out in Como, Texas, Horn Street, at club like Mabel's Eat Shop and the Bluebird. Herb reappeared a couple minutes later and set a fifth of Canadian club on our table, proclaiming, Enjoy the festivities, my friends. And that we did till the Elk Club closed at midnight. Then we caravanned over to Raver's place on Riverside Drive. Yeah. Well, Lady Pearl and her BTA group were up on stage with Pearl wailing. My man got skinny because he ate the whole thing. And two cousins were centerpieced on the dance floor simulating an a bang, bangy tribal ritual. After a couple turns, Pearl's brother Ray got on the mic and urged Bucky to take over the drum kit, which he did for a couple numbers, like Work With Me Annie and Frankie Lady Sam's Lucy May Blues. At the end of the night, every drummer in the club escorted Mike Buck and I out to a ride. And we took it from there. Wailing, squawking, the Fula, back to the west side. Uh -huh. 